Sorry for that lot of drinking earlier. I drink Okay, the mission says as follows. There's a lot of things in this mission. It's, very, it's an interesting mission. If Shimon Oimer ain't supposed to be Mayim Hamara, we learned this already before that if Shimon disagrees with the concept that the, that there could be a schus that will prevent the Mayim from having an effect on the woman. So he doesn't agree with that. And he says, <coughs> If you will argue and say that, no, there could be such a thing. So the woman will lose the respect for the, for the, whole, the whole concept. They call it Nashashashis. Sha'imim that they'll say to me is how you owe she told him schus. So it, it, therefore he says there's no schus and if it, if it has to happen, it happens. If it doesn't have to happen, it doesn't happen. And no one can have any excuse or any reason to think that he's going to get away with it. Rabbi Yaima, Rabbi says, Vice says he's concerned about Rib Shimma's argument about this. Being doich the mayim, so he says as chus toyu be mayim amorim. There is a chus. Abba he says it doesn't mean that nothing happens. The ena yoldus, the ena mishabechus. The the that if if the chus if she had, if it came out that that nothing happened to her, so shteitel be nixu be nizar zara. He says if this lady had a chus, but. She's not going to have the benefits together with the schus, and the schus will only hold it off. Ella mis navna veilechas. She becomes like deteriorated. V'soi imesa b'isa misa. At the end, she dies with this misa. So the schus can. There is a schus, he says, but it doesn't take it away entirely. But and so it's a serious matter. So there's nothing to worry about uh, the possibility of a schus. Now, now is like the Mishnah. Nitmas minchaso. What happens if if the mincha that she made became tummy? So what 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 do you do? He says it depends. Actually, kitsha bekli. If they didn't put it yet into the kli shores and make it holy, harei he kacholam menachas with So it's like all menachas that didn't become fully holy, and you could redeem it. Ve'im is she kitsha bekli. If it was already in the keli and then later became tomei, so you can't take it out the chulin anymore. Harei kachala menochas v'ti saref. Okay, just like the mission. So that that we're talking about a possibility if it became tomei. Now the mission says ve'igul she minchasei in the surface. These are cases where you burn the mincha. Now you can't be mak. You don't. You can't be makavit. How you burn it, we'll see in the gemara. But you have to burn it. If a woman admits, she says, to, I'm Tommy, so go on and say, no, no sense in going through the procedure. During the process, that she was denying the whole time, but during the process, they came, hey, does that say that she's Tommy? No, okay. If she says, I refuse to drink, whatever reason, I refuse to drink, okay, you refuse to drink. That means that she's admitting, really. So, so it's, it's uh, <coughs> in the surface. Or he said, The husband changed his mind. We're going to learn later in the Gemara, later on a few dafen, if the Baal could be Michael, on, on, if the Baal could be Michael. So if the Baal doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to, he says, I don't want to kill my wife. The din is that as long as the husband didn't have relation with her, after he suspected her, so then he can go through the process. But if while he had relation when they were coming from his bezin to Yushalayim, so then 
he loses the uh, the benefit of the mind. Now the, the Mishnah says another din. If uh, any woman that's married to a kain, she's the Yisraelis, but she got married to a kain, so she apply, she she gets some of the dinim of a kain, of, of what what they have to do with kahuna. So therefore, and as soon as the kahanim minchosim nisrafus, the din is that usually when you make a mincha, so you, you put it in the in the in the, in the pan over there. And you you mix the flour with the oil, and then you put the uh, the spices on it, and then you take off kmitza. So usually, when you take off kmitza, you mark of that on the mizbeach, and the rest of the mincha goes to the kahanim. They have a, a cake to take home. By a kohen, if a kohen is mark of a called mincha, it's a different din. You don't do kmitza, but the whole mincha gets burnt on the mizbeach. <clears throat> so now he's saying that also if a woman that's married to a Kayan made a mincha, so it has the same din as a, as a Kayan's mincha. He says, "Bechol and the suas lekahanim minchos in the surface." Bas Yisrael shenisas a Kayan. This is an example minchos in the surface because she goes according to the law of the Kayan. and bekahanim shenisas li Yisrael. Minchosa ne'achalas. Okay, this is a, a, a popular din. Even b'zman azel marshal. Let's say if a, if an Ashkenazi girl married a Sfadi, or if a Sfadi married, uh, if a, if a Sfadi girl married an Ashkenazi, so hal halachas marshal we get the Pesach, eating brooks, eating rice. Let's say so if the husband is a Sfadi. So she adapts the, the, the laws of the husband. If the husband's an Israel, a, a Israeli, so then she adapts the, the laws of the Israel. Now he says, being that we're talking now about Kayin, uh, about a Kayin and a Kahanis, so he says, Ma ben Kayin and Kahanis, what are the differences between a Kayin and a Kahanis? So first of all, he says, Minchas Kahanis Nechelis, or Minchas Kayin Eine Nechelis. Okay, that's one thing. Kahanis mischaleles, the kayan ain't mischale. In other words, if a, if a lady, let's say, was a grusha, and she married a kayan, so she becomes a cholom. And they have children, the children are cholom. But the kayan doesn't, it doesn't affect the man. It only affects the wife and, and the children. He can still, he can still dochen? Yeah, do yeah. Well, uh, that's a different show about dochening, but, but it doesn't uh, it do- doesn't affect uh, him. Oh, okay, is my actor shake, sir. You could still have trauma, I think that's the thing, yeah. He's able to dochen. Kahanis, can trauma. He says kahanis was chalas mina trauma, umina kahuna, im nivela lepaso. The kain aim is chalu im nasal grusha zayne bechalala, so. It, does, it doesn't puzzle him. He's not a lara. Another thing is, Kahanis mischalelis or mesim, we ain't kain metamu or mesim. A kain is not a lara gotel of vaya. The wife of a kain is a lara gotel of vaya. Kain oichel bekotche koshim, we ain't kahanis achalis bekotche koshim. The din is that the, by, by this kotche koshim, koshim kalim, Moshachatas is kotche kotchen. Shlomim is kotche kalim. So the meat of shlomim, a kahana is allowed to eat. The meat of kotche kotchen, she's not allowed to eat. She's allowed to eat truma, but not kotche kotchen. Ma ben ishli isha. So till now we were speaking between women and men and lady, but. In, in the Kahuna family. Now he said, Ma ben Isha, what difference is there halachically between a man and a woman? He says, it's like, Ha ish pareyu upayrim, vein isha paras be uparemis. That means that this, if a man became a Mitzayda, so then the thing <coughs> is he has to go sit out at a machna, he has to let his hair grow wild, and he has to rip his begotten. A Kahanis doesn't have to do it. 
A woman. A woman. Uh, uh, Israel does not. Uh, a woman does not. A woman, if she has a child who's under 13, so she can't make her child a nozer. But a man could make his child a nozer. So I you asked me about Shimshin and everything. Yeah. That's a different thing. That the, the, the Novi came and told her that. But her ish megalach on the zidas of it. The ain't ish megalachas on the zidas of here. The says is like, if a person was a Nazar, and his father was a Nazar, and when he finishes, let's say, a Nazar for 30 days, when he finishes the 30 days, so then he has to bring certain, he has to take a haircut, and he has to bring certain kabonis. What happens if his father was a Nazar, and his father set aside kabonis, and the father died? So the son could take his haircut, and use his father's kabonis. But a woman cannot, uh, uh, she does, uh, cannot use her, her father's kabonis. Another thing is, she was in her ish, yeah. That's, that's what it says, yeah. In Pasuk Shai, you, you, you know that uh, there was the Shaiga. If a woman could be a Nazar, right, Kukman? Uh, so, the, so the answer is it's a fresh Pasuk. Say Isha Yisha. Yeah. Okay. Another thing he says is, "Her ish mekadesh is bitoy, ve'ain ish mekadesh is bito." The the father could give away his daughter in kiddushin, but the mother cannot do that. That with her daughter. Her ish meicher is bitoy, ve'ain ish meicher is bito. Same thing. The father. The man could sell his daughter to, to be an Amma Vriya, but the, the mother can't. Her ish nisko aram, the ain't ish is kalus aruma. A man, when you give him a skila, they would push him down from the height and then they throw a stone on him. So there's a difference between a man and a woman. But, but the, the man is, is, is in his clothing and the woman, uh, the, I'm sorry, the woman is in her clothing. And the man is not in this clothing. Another thing is, if a certain Aveda is this clear, the Torah is eights, so her ish, nitla, clear is a punishment that applies only to a man. The ain't the ish, nitla, and if a woman, it doesn't apply to her. Then he says, the final thing of the Mishnah, her ish, nimka big nevasai, the man, for, if he does the geneva, so he, nimka big nevasai, if a woman stole her, she has no money to pay, whatever you do, but you can't, you can't sell her. Okay. Now, Tony Rabbonin, we're going to explain certain parts of the mission. This is Tony Rabbonin, Rabbonin, Lurin, all those that, that are married to, uh, to Kahuna, the, the husband of Kayan, is Ben Chosan Nisrafis. Kesed, what does that mean? He says, Kahanis Levi of Yisraelis, Shenisas Lekayan, Ein Ben Chosan Acholis, like I told before, that a minchas kayan, the din is that the whole thing gets burned. The, the, so by minchas you saw, you take off the kmitza and the rest the kahanim could have. So he says over here, Ketzad, kahanas levi of Yisraelis, one of these type of women, shenisas lekayan, ein minchas and achelas, her mincha is not eaten, v'vnei sheyesh loy chelag bo. Because the husband has a chalik in it, and the chalik of a kayan is not is not eaten. Of the aina oil kolo. Now, what do you do with, with the with the kayan with the kayan's mincha? It gets burnt on the mizbeach. But in in her case, you took off the kmitza from it. So there's a part of the kmitza and there's the rest of the mincha. She so says. But ain't the oil color, 
it doesn't get burnt entirely. So here's the problem. The yeah. din is, the, the din is, there's a, there's a posseg, I'm not going to go into the detail bit, but the din is the same. Let's say, um, if you if you have a carbon, and you mark a, the parts of the carbon that you have to be marked on the zbeach, could you say, you know, I'll give the, I'll give the zbeach a little more. When a generous person, my, my portion that remains for me, I want to give the zbeach. So, so just the, based on the pasuk, the din is that a thing that goes to the ishim, that goes to the fire, you can't add to it more, more, more to it. The question over here is, when you have this mincha over here, there was kamitza, and there was the rest of the mincha. So the question is, how do you, what do you do <clears> with it? <throat> on one hand, you, you got to take off kamitza because it's She's a Yisraelis. So, uh, uh, the other half, you can't burn the whole thing because it becomes a shayla of about the took of parts, so the remainder can't go on the Mizbeah. Buy a kain, it's all shayla, because a kain, you put it out there, there's no kamitsa, and you put the whole thing on the Mizbeah. But by her, there's a part that's kamitsa, and there's the rest of the, the, the mincha, that a shayla, koshu leishim, is is bebal takav? You can't be makav. So, so therefore, so look, look, look over here again. Let, let's start again. Tan rabbanan kala nesu is a gehuna min chosen nesrafes keitzad kahanes levia b'israelis shenisus a kain that got married a kain ain min chosen achalas. Normally, if a husband wasn't a kain, you would eat the remaining part after the kmitza. Over here, not. No, nay, she yesh loy chelikba. He has a part in it. And his, uh, a kal, the, the husband, if he'd made a mincha, he would, uh, the whole thing would be burnt. Of aina oila kolo, you also can't burn the, ta, the, the whole thing on the mizbeah, uh, on, uh, like you do by a mincha's kayin. Why? Mifnei she yesh loy chelikba. Because she has a chelik in it. And besides her chelik, there's a separation of the, the, the Kmitza, and after the Kmitza, you can't add to, on, on the Mizbeach. So what do you do? Eli says, HaKaymitz Karev Ba'asman. You have to separate them. The Kaymitz becomes a part of a Kalbim, which that's okay. And HaShirayim Karevim Ba'asman. And, and the and the shirayim you, you mark them separately, not as a part of the not not as a part of the carbon. Ikri Khan, you call this. What what do we? How do we describe this thing? He says, Whoever a thing that goes the ishim, ever part of a a carbon, that part of it goes on the mizbeach. The rest of it is bebal taktiru. You can't be mocked there. You can only be mocked with it. Amr of Yehuda, bereid Reb Shimon ben Pazi. Now, question is, so when you put it, uh, you say you separate them. One part goes on the mizbeach, and the one part goes separately. What does it mean? Go separate? What does it go separately? So he says, the masukuhu ushum eitzim. You need a wood on the mizbeach to make a fire, right? You don't have to you know, fire. You can make from anything. You can make from paper. You can make from from anything. You can make you can make from food also a fire. So it's a, the makav will hushum eitzim. That the makav it to make like a tnai with it. If it's not, if it's if, if it's considered a kayin's mincha, no, so it will be makav. If it's not considered a kayin's mincha, so then it'll be eitz, it'll be like firewood, not not kabonis. And where do we find such a swara to be makkah with shem eitzim? He says, "Kira belazer like kira belazer." The sign you were going, "Kira belazer oimer l'reich nichayech iata ma'ila." You can't make it for reich nichayech. By a certain din, if kabbonas got mixed up, I mean, I go into it's a big rashi over here. Let's not go into that now. But b'kitzur, he said, 
in such a case, it's stated that you should be makar b'kom l'reich nechayach. So he says, l'reich nechayach, he had a mailah. You can't bring it up. The kom is what, what, what's not the ebishaf in the kom? Reich nechayach Hashem. So he says, l'reich nechayach, you can't make it for a reich nechayach to, to give a good aroma. That, that. Avo at the mailah l'shum eitzim. But you can be mailah l'shum eitzim. It's the same thing over here also. With, with the milk of, of a kahanis, you take part of it, the, the part of the kemitsa becomes a reich dechayev, a kovim, and the rest of it is l'shum eitzim. Zak the Gemara, this is a good idea, Zak the Gemara. However, ha'nichu oh. Rebbe Lezer the Yisra ha'isvara. This is a good according to Rebbe Lezer that holds this for El Rabbonin the Lezer ha'isvara, but according to Rabbonin that they don't hold this svara that you could make l'shem eitzim, I would say, my equal maimer. What 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 do you do over here? So the Gemara says, you know what? The Avdigu who kirabelazer b'reb Shimon. We we we'll do we have another eitzah. We'll go according to the sign that we learn. Rabelazer b'reb Shimon Aimer hakaimets karev ba'atzmai. That the kaimets you could be makar. That's no problem. Good. Even if it, if the whole thing had to be makar nikkur on those beyer, it would include the kaimets. So there's nothing wrong with being makar the kaimets. She says, Akayim is called a blasphem. Bashirayim and the, the leftover of the minchan is mispazrin of Beis Adashim. You throw it in the, in the ashes that they had a place where they threw over all the ashes. So you throw it out. Then the Gemara says, Vafilu Rabbonim, even the Rabbonim that disagree with this, and they hold that you should be marked the whole thing on the Mizbeach. They hold you could be marked the whole thing on the Mizbeach. Uh, but they will, they, over here they will admit. Why would they admit? He said, he said, I feel it, Rabbonin. Even according to Rabbonin, like Paul Galei, the Rebbe Lazar, the Rebbe Shimon, they only argue on the Rebbe Lazar, the Rebbe Minchas Chaita. By Minchas Chaita, the question is, if by Minchas Chaita, the, 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 there's two types of Mincha. There's a Minchas Nadava, and there's a Minchas Chaita. By Minchas Nadava, we know the Pesach says that you could, you, you burn the whole thing by a coin. But I was like, by Minchas, yeah, by, 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 you don't need Kemitza and you burn the whole thing. But the Shara, what about Minchas Chaita? Is it the same thing or not? So he says that it's Mispaza, you separate it and the other part you throw out, you burn it with the ashes. The Rabbonin disagree with this. What will be over here? By 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 the case of a saita, so he says a filler abonon lepal galay the rabbi lezer the rabbi shimon el be minchas chayta. That's where they argue. By minchas chayta, they hold that that you burn the whole thing. By minchas chayta, the shokahanim the basak rabbi avo b'ha a filler abonon moidi over here is different. Why? Because over here is a suffix if he can be makavit. But if it's a mincha, if the if the husband was a kayan and she's a kahenis. The question is, do we go after her or do we go after him? If you go after him, then you can't be, then you can be mocked of the whole thing. If you go after her, so then you have to take Kamisa, and we have to take Kamisa, you can't be mocked of the rest. So in this case over here, it's not considered a Basa Krova, so everybody will agree that you throw it out on, on the ashes. Okay. Now let's go to the next piece of Gemara. The next piece is all a small piece. The Gemara says, Bas Yisrael and the Suya Lukayim, so it gets burned. My time, Adam Makra, Bechal Minchas Kayim, Kalotia, Lysi Yoho. So, Kayim, Vulay Kahenis. It doesn't apply to Kahenis, it applies only to Kayim. Oh, over here, by sight, it, it, it's different because by sight, it, it, it's, it's his Mincha, he brings the Mincha. That's why sight is, is an exception. Kehenis Mishalelis and Kayan A Mishalel. The din of Chalel only applies to the Kayan and not to the woman and not to the man. Minolan, the Amakov, where you Chalel Zarei Ba'amai. Zarei Mishalel, his children could become Chalelim, but who ain't a Mishalel, but he doesn't become a Chalel. So Melo, so it applies to future generations, it applies to her, but not to him. Kehenis Matama, a Kehenis. Could go to Levaya, my Tama, Amakra, and Mara Kayan and Bene Adam, Bene Adam, Bele Bene Sadam. Okay? 
That's today's Pasha. Kayan Aichel Bekatshe Kachim. Why? A woman not. Except Kozoch Bevnei Ar and Yechan. Said by Gemreitik, it's a fresh apostle. Only as of. Uma Ben Ish Isha. So we learned a few things. So now Tan Rabbonin. It says in Posik, Ish, Ain Liyala Ish, Isha Minayin. How do we know what the law is by a Isha? Kishu, I'm talking by, by, by a Metzayda. Kishu, I'm Vatsuru Asher by Harei Khan, Shnaim. So why does it say Ish? Imke Maitam Ulem Ish. Vatsuru means anybody, means a man or a woman. So why does it say Ish? The Indian Shalomato benegayet to what says later in the parsha. Shalomato means what what says if, if the title is written. If you write on a page, so you have the top of the page and the bottom of the page. So the top of the page state the pasuk ish, and then Lamata state regarding priya and about the hair and about the begodim. So the, the reason it says ish is the Indian Shalomato that ish pereya and the woman not. Now we had another thing. The, the, a father can make his son a nozer, and the mother cannot. You want the reason? You know what the reason is? It's a I have no reason to it. There's no fussy, there's nothing. It's a local mushroom. Then we had in the Mishnah, that the case that I gave, that if the father died and he left over Kabonis, that he wasn't Makkah. So the son could use it when he finishes his Nzidas and, and take the, the shave. But a woman can't do that. Why is that? You know why? Because. Again, Amr Ab Yechran, Halach ibn That's a dinner, that's Allah and Mashwasina. You can't argue it. That, that's Allah. Then we learn. The father can be Mekadesh, is his, his, his son, his daughter, I'm sorry. But the, the, the mother cannot be Mekadesh. The daughter, that's only Midrabon, and there's such a thing, but not when the father is Mekadesh's his daughter, it's Midraisa. So the said, the Ksiv is said in Posek, as Biti Nasati Reish Hazer. Now, what, what's the raya from the Pasuk as beating the Sati Elisha Zeh? Anybody know? Rabbi Koopman. What's the raya? Yeah, I'm asking you. He has a little cook. He was able to give over. He gave over. He gave it over to this man. So what did he say? I didn't hear good. The answer to my question is that the Gemara doesn't bring the whole Pasuk. It says that the father should say, and Avianara, today maybe, I don't know, but Amar, Avianara was a man. Okay. Now we say, A father can sell his, 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 his daughter to be an Amar Avriya, but a mother cannot. Now we learn to ish nisko aram and not a isha my timer. What's we? He says state in pasuk be rogmu oisai. State in pasuk you should you should stone him. Frakti gemara my oisai. What does it mean? What do you? What's the emphasis? Im ilaymo oisai bo oisai. If you say oisai means to say. That only a man can get skila, but a woman can't get skila. That can't be because what Siv there's a pasuk that says, "Vaitzei by by Makal that either the man or the woman that blasphemed that the gesholten gets skila. So I say, so what does Oisa mean? Oisa means him. If he has garments on him, then it's not just him. Then it's only him and and the garments. And v'lay oisa v'lay ksusa. Then we learned in the Mishnah of Ish Nitla that the din tria only applies to Ish and not to Isha. My timer. 
Amakra, the Pashuk says, Vesalisa Isai al Aitz. Is Isai Bulay Isa? Then the Gemara said, the Mishnah said, Hoish Nimka Bigne Vasai, Vaini Ishum Kadis Bigne Vasa, that only a man could be sold if he's stolen and he doesn't have money to pay, but not a woman. What what's the source to this? So that my timer, Amaka, you don't need it, Amaka, Vinimka Bigne Vasai, Bigne Vasai, Vuloi Bigne Vasa. So, uh, there was a person he was having a, an issue with the, allowing his daughter to get married. They just, when everyone, he found himself outside of, when he came, he, by the rabbi, he said, let, let, let her get married to the guy. You know, he didn't want to do married. Everybody says, beating the Zat